goes in hiding of sorts. But character is very much in the limelight as we start off another winner's quarter set. Zora into MSB, starting things off on Forest Floor. And this is how I'm expecting a lot of this matchup to go. Yoda expects uh, Crack to consistently be in danger of Maple being right on top of you. But at the same time, Maple has to be mindful of the rock. You always have to watch out for the rock. I, I wish we could give the rock literal googly eyes, but <laughs> it's its own beast, and so is Crack sometimes. Because while Zora has shown mastery of movement and being able to mix up just how going in and out, especially with some of these side specials and dash attack, always looking for those burst range, MSB space has been immaculate. And Crag, when you're able to find those hits consistently, they matter a whole lot more. One thing that I've always loved about watching MSB play is that Crag is, relatively speaking, a very clunky character to play around with. Very fun but and very strong, but otherwise very clunky. There is such an elegance behind the way that MSB pilots this beetle with Rock and Pillar and Crag himself that you would not believe this character to be one of the slowest if you saw the way that he glides around, consistently combos, and consistently threatens stage control. Zora practically spawned on the left-hand wall of this stage, and that's exactly where they fell. You can only do so much against uh, when you're forced to use all of your resources, and Maple has certainly plenty of them. That tether to get back to stage, being able to reset with the seed, uh, Maple being the uh, one of two characters with a wall cling as well. Just There's a lot going for you, but only so much when you have to worry about that same level of mix-up coming from the offensive side from MSB, who's had quite literally years to perfect how he wants to play Krag and how he wants to operate this character. Like, Ed on top having such strong fundamentals for having been besides Krag for the longest of times, but MSB himself is also a fairly fluid player, like, able to adjust on the fly if he's going to try to hang around towards the ledge and then turn reversals, or if he's just going to completely just box you out on stage and just blow you out with Krag's firepower. And this character has plenty of firepower as Nair into Upstrung manages a stock. That Nair is... You could argue it's one of the best aerials in the game, period. In a game with a lot of insane aerials. Belonging to Krag makes his neutral go from strong to devastating. Like, it's just such a strong cornerstone of how Krag is able to turn any type of situation into a dangerous one for his targets. Because it's a good way to navigate aerial space, and at the same time, you just turn literally any of the hits into a combo. Speaking okay, yeah, of, Zora managing to find something, even with the tether being properly DI, it still went for the hunt and managed to find the stock. Yeah, tether into the nair that time. But if you're taking stocks at 170, you do have to be concerned. Runoff fair, yeah, but great DI coming out from MSB. Just avoiding many of the setups that he's familiar not only with Maple, but also from Zora. These two having a pretty recent set history. <gasps> that caught? Oh, Monsieur? no. Monsieur, we're going to need a body count on how many maples are going to be falling in this game alone because there's been a couple of good ones from MSB. Oh, that was like at the tip of her tail. That was such a well-timed downstrung from MSB in such the weirdest of places. He just knew. Like, he just knew, man. The, the, so, the, like, sometimes knows. you get out what outplayed. It really is sometimes that simple. Other times, he's just on another level. It's not even like Zora's playing bad. I think Zora's actually moving around really well in this game, too. It's just, MSB's looked more prepared, and I really wish Zora had went to the other side to try and find that earlier stock, but hey, a well-timed forward air does manage to even the stock count. Okay, got intercepted with that F2, and here we are again oh. at that left ledge, and all he needed was a parry to stun Zora into the bottom blast zone. Just so shook by the actual stone on this crag, especially given... Oh. There was a little bit of charge, too! Were they waiting for a parry? I oh, think MSB might have been no. waiting for a landing parry. Why? Who knows? But... <laughs> Oh no, you're, be you're below, you're below. This is hard, <laughs> this is maybe the worst position possible to be in on Armada. Oh no. Not many stages you can go actively underneath, and but don't worry, the stock count's been reset. Crag fair, whenever you think it won't hit, it does. <laughs> All right, two stock game time. There was a really good opening from Zora though. If they can manage other stocks like that, 
goes to show at least the stage pick was a phenomenal, if risky, choice. I like the high recovery there. Any any way to get back on stage, maybe you take a small punish, but hey, you'll take a you'll take a light hit compared to a heavy hit, and those hits you don't get many as Maple. I don't, and again, the stall, these ways to get back are getting more and more creative. But MSB's a combination of both, maybe knowing Zora or knowing just how Maple wants to move. He's all over these depth of routes from Zora. Ooh, and the timing on that forward air, just like that. It's Tide Stocks once again. Once again, very bold calls off stage. And, you know, as we've already seen, off stage on Aramata is very dangerous. All right, we get it. You tech chase nice. I'm a fan. I like it. I like it. I like Maple's F to a lot. It's just boosh. It's just got the Leaf Qatar boxing glove things. Put them to good use. <laughs> Maple's got a mean right hook. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently! <laughs> and a whip to go with it. You know, it's insane that MSB kind of realizes that, yeah, I'm tied up, but I'm going to dash attack out of this, and there's going to be nothing you can do about Ooh. it. No tech. How did this... Oh, that's so unfortunate. An excellent reversal from MSB does manage the 3-0 count, but those games were very well played. That game three especially. Zora made the most out of every situation. The cojones just to decide, yeah, I see you landed pillar, and I know Crack has a lot of ways to get back from this, but I'm going to go down there and finish the job because I know I can make it back into the loving arms of Crag, who just close out the stop just like that. But it's it's that type of gameplay that I feel like uh, Zora has found a, a way to move forward with because his punish game looked very, very strong when he had the opportunity to. He just needed to be a little bit more... Extra, I suppose, is the word with it. Because the safe stuff, the consistent stuff, isn't always going to work on a lot of players that are prepared. But if you're willing to go the extra mile to close out, as long as you can find ways to recover, then it's worth it. Damn, we really we really had to see that one again, huh? Yeah. Ouch. <laughs> yeah, I think that only worked because Zora put out um, back, back air. Yeah. Oh, that's... One, two, two, frame by frame. One, this one's two, actually just three, terrifying. Four, five... Yeah. The frame, frames before disaster. Things preceding unfortunate events. Yeah, like that's the actual moment right then and there. Where it just, it all went wrong. And there was at this moment, that Zora knew. He fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but really good maple play seems to be a staple of today, so. Yeah, a couple of, two key, or I guess three key characters showing out in all form. I mean, there's the consistent players and the consistent player base, but the fact that we're seeing Three Absas, three Clarins, and two Maples making it in the top 16 shows that metas are progressing for some characters, while metas for other characters are kind of carried by single-handed representatives. Yeah, it's a situation where there's characters who people acknowledge are good, but there's not enough pilots behind those characters to show it. And I think it's... It is and it isn't a testament to how well designed the game is. I think the balance of the cast means that like everyone could gravitate towards those naturally good characters or they could find their favorites and make it work. 